equation has letters, numbers, and an equal sign. The aim is to find the value of the letter, which we also call a variable. In these examples, we need to solve the equations, which means we need to get the letter on its own. The first equation is x plus 3 is equal to 10. x is going to be the number that I add to 3 to get 10, and you can probably see that's going to be 7. But to solve the equation, we subtract 3 from both sides because subtracting 3 is the opposite of adding 3. This means that on the left-hand side we just have x, because plus 3 take away 3 is 0, and on the right-hand side we have 10 take away 3, which is 7. In the second equation we have 5 equals x take away 3. The opposite of taking away 3 is adding 3, so I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. This will give me 8 equals x, or we can say x equals 8. In the third question, we have 2x equals 5. Remember, 2x means 2 times x, so we have 2 times x equals 5. To get x on its own, we need to divide both sides by 2, because the opposite of multiplying is dividing. I write this like a fraction, divide both sides by 2, on the left-hand side, my 2's cancel, which means that x is equal to 5 over 2, which is 2 and a half, or 2.5. Finally, I have y divided by 5, or y over 5 equals 3. To get y on its own, we need to do the opposite of dividing by 5, which is multiplying by 5. So I multiply both sides, because I need to do the same thing to both sides to keep my equation balanced. I multiply both sides by 5, which leaves me with y equals to 15. Here are some examples that we'll try of harder questions, or what we would call two-step equations. In question A, we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 11. I want to get x on its own, but the first thing I need to do is get 2x on its own. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides which will leave me with 2x is equal to 8. 11 take away 3 is 8. I then know that to get rid of the 2, I can divide both sides by 2. So I have x is equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Question B, the first thing I need to do is get 5y on its own. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. This will leave me with 5y is equal to 25. To get y on its own, I'm going to divide both sides by 5, which leaves me with y is equal to 25 divided by 5, which is 5. In question C, it doesn't matter that the x is on the right-hand side. The method is the same. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, which will leave me with 21 equals 3x, I'm then going to divide both sides by 3, which will leave me with 7 equals x, or x equals 7. For d, I can subtract 5 from both sides, because remember the minus in front of the 10 is operating on the 10x, so I really have 5 take away 10x equals 85. So I'm going to subtract 5, because right now there's a plus 5. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, leaving me with minus 10x is equal to 80. I'm then going to divide both sides by minus 10, because the minus is connected to the 10. So I'm going to divide both sides by minus 10. On the left-hand side, the minus 10s cancel out. And on the right-hand side, I have 80 divided by minus 10, which is just minus 8, because a plus divided by a minus is a minus. In question E, I first need to add 12 to both sides, which leaves me with x over 3 equals 16. I then multiply both sides of the equation by 3. This will leave me with x equals 3 times 16, which is 48. In F, I first need to add 10 to both sides, which will give me 2x over 5 is equal to 12. I then multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of the 5 on the bottom of the fraction on the left hand side. This leaves me with 2x is equal to 60. 
I then divide both sides by 2, which leaves me with x equals 30. Here are some similar questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at them, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Very often, we will have equations with variables on both sides of the equation. Here is an example. Johnny has found some Roman coins. He assigns them the weight y grams and puts them on a weighing scale. He finds that the scales balance. So he has, on the left-hand side of the scale, six coins and three one-gram weights. On the right-hand side, he has four of the coins and three three-gram weights, and he finds that the scales balance. He can write this as an equation, 6y, six lots of the coins, plus three grams, is four lots of the coins, plus three lots of three is nine grams. In order to find the weight of one coin, he can remove weights from both sides until he ends up with one y on one side and a numerical value on the other, or possibly two y on one side and a number on the other. Notice the steps that we're going to follow. Firstly, he's going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Notice that this is the same as removing 3 grams from each side. This will leave you with 6y is equal to 4y plus 6. Next, he's going to subtract 4y from both sides. This is the same as taking 4 coins off each side of the scale. This leaves you with 2 lots of y is equal to 6. We know from what we've done that to get y on its own, we need to divide both sides by 2. This will leave you with y is equal to 3. So that means the weight of one coin is 3 grams. Here are some examples. Remember that the opposite of plus is minus, so if we have a plus 3, we would need to subtract 3 from both sides. If I have a plus 2x, I can subtract 2x from both sides. So in the first question, remember that the aim is to get x on its own, so I want all of the x's on one side and all of the pure numbers on the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of my equation. I'm doing this because there are more x's on the right-hand side. So I have 3 is equal to 4x take away 2x is 2x, and I still have the plus 1. I'm now going to subtract 1 from both sides because that will leave me with just 2x on the right-hand side. That gives me 2 is equal to 2x. I can then find x by dividing both sides by 2, which will leave me with 1 is equal to x, or we can say x equals 1. In question B, there are more x's on the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. This gives me 5x plus 7 is equal to 23. I'm then going to subtract 7 from both sides. This will leave me with 5x is equal to 23 take away 7, which is 15. And I'm then going to divide both sides by 5, which will leave me with a final answer of x equal 3. In C, I'm firstly going to subtract 2y from both sides, because there are more y's on the, on the side with the 5y. This will leave me with 3y minus 9 is equal to 3. I'm going to then add 9 to both sides, which will leave me with 3y is equal to 12. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. This will leave, this will leave me with y is equal to 4. In the last question, I'm going to add 5x to both sides, because the opposite of minus 5x is add 5x. This leaves me with 2 is equal to 17x plus 5x, which is 23x. Take away 9. Sorry, 22x. Take away 9. And then I'm going to add 9 to both sides which will give me 11 
equal to 22x. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 22. This will leave me with x is equal to 11 divided by 22, which is a half. Here are some final questions for you to try. Pause the video now and have a go at them, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.